that's okay. You do kind of whatever. So what you're going to do here is you have your coils. So this is a gasifier. Well, I mean, no, this is your coiler for a pelletized, pelletized for a biomass burner. For That's good. So what you do here is because it's it's a uh, when you have a stationary power supply, you do things differently because you have a lot of room. So you have a big smokestack. So you have a smokestack 20 feet tall. And the smoke comes out the bottom and it goes up the smokestack because this smoke's going to be, you know, 400 degrees. Maybe you can get it down to 300 degrees, but it's hard to get much below 400 degrees. So there's several ways of doing it. One way is you put your your pellet burner so you have a fan you always burn your your pellets in a cast iron pot and the better ones I know have little holes drilled in them So this is your plenum. The air blows in here, it blows in through the little holes, swirls around in the pot. Your flame comes up here. Your flame comes up here, goes down through here, goes up the smokestack. Now you can take this and put right on top if you want to. And the flame comes out, you know, then the flame comes out and goes down. And it takes a little bit when you're trying to make this corner with your heat to get it started. It takes a little bit, it's going to smoke a little bit until you get your hot air in here and then it'll draw. As soon as you get hot air in here, then you get plenty of draft and plenty of draw. So your smokestack hmm. is, is always cheaper than a fan. But it just takes a little bit to get it started. And it's going to smoke and fool around while you're fired up. Once it's fired up, you're in business. So how, would we, how, do you what? how would you put this right on top here? So just close that off and draw that, draw that there. This, is the, this could be the secret right here. to have a fan to get it started and after that mm -hmm. so you have your crucible we have a corn burner which is the same as a pellet burner over here to, so you can look at it and it works kind of good enough but so you have your flame here and all you do kind of round those corners so you have a good, good flow. So your flame comes up here and it goes down here. And it goes through your coils. So that's that's rather counterintuitive that the flame is on top, right? Yeah, you put the you can either put the flame on top or you can put it right beside. And it doesn't really matter if you have a lot of if you put it on top it's kind of up in the air a little bit, which is it depends you, on it doesn't really matter where you put it. You've got to have your your flame is a separate unit. It's a combustion chamber, and it just is a box that flame and hot gas comes out of. So it doesn't matter where it is, as long as you have an insulated pipe to pipe it where you want it. What's the thinnest? Can you make a thin pipe like six inches across that's the burner chamber? 
I think the burner, if you're going to get any kind of power out of it, you have to have at least like a bucket like about a foot in diameter at least, and uh -huh. a foot tall if not more, to get any kind of a flame out of it. Um, I would have to look at, uh, I forgot what our, uh, what's our BTUs on that corn burner, Terry, do you remember? We'll go look at it. Mm -hmm. Was it 250,000? I don't think it was 150, that much. I think it was probably 150,000. 150,000? See, that's only a gallon and a half an hour. So, but that'll get you five horsepower. Pretty much. Okay. So there you go. That's how you make okay. it. That's how you make a 